Good day. My name is Jaapie van der Westhuizen. I'm the General Manager of SA Stadtboek. The objective of this talk is to familiarize those who look at the slideshow uh, with Stadtboek and what we do at SA Stadtboek. Also a little bit of background to Stadtboek and a brief history of the organization. Just to give you a little bit of background, uh, just to start off with in terms of the South African breeding industry, breeding in South Africa of livestock and other species um, is basically governed by an act, the Animal Improvement Act, and the act recognizes the existence of specific breeds. So a breed is declared according to the act. Um, it also recognizes this breeding societies and registering authorities. Now, a breeding society obviously needs to have its own constitution and there are stipulations in the Act as to how to form a breeding society and what the requirements are for a breeding breeder society. And obviously, part of the constitution or the bylaws of a breeder society will be its own breed standards and minimum requirements of animals uh, to be registered as such. So, um, like I said, it's governed by uh, the Act, but uh, obviously they have leeway in terms of uh, what decisions they make uh, in terms of animals being um, registered. Also, for those who import animals from elsewhere, they, they can lay down their own standards and, and norms for such animals to be considered viable to be used in a South African situation. The Act also provides for so-called registering authorities. That is an authority or a body that uh, are will, will be allowed to record and uh, register the animals of these breeder societies. Now, um, and it, it based on that and based on uh, the standards of a specific breeder society for, an, for a specific breed, uh, a registering authority will then record the animals of, um, of those breeds. So, um, in uh, another uh, requirement of for a registering authority is that uh, it needs to adhere to international standards uh, and norms. Um, and obviously, like I've said, you, uh, a, a registering authority needs to uh, apply the breed standards of a specific uh, breed according to the uh, the um, rules and the by, maybe the bylaws of, of such a society. Now, as a stat book, uh, with what, what these slides are all about uh, is a registering authority according to the Act, and it, uh, its members are the uh, um, breeder societies. So, uh, then to latch on to what I've just said, um, Statbook uh, runs an international uh, recording system. Uh, and obviously this recording system needs to be uh, adapted or developed according to the client's conditions and needs. So uh, if you run a specific or you, you are a breed society of a specific breed and you have specific needs, you, you, you want specific recordings uh, done or uh, the manner in which it, it, it has to be done or the reports that you need, uh, Statbook stat system Although it needs to uh, adhere to international uh, conformance or standards, uh, it also uh, has to address the, the needs of your specific breed or society. Uh, Statbook is non-profit uh, and it's a service organization and I think very important it also it belongs to its members. Our members at Statbook are, will be the breeder societies, the individual breeder societies, and collectively uh, they, if you want to say, uh, uh, call its own SA stud book. Uh, we have a very uh, uh, small board, um, we call it EXCO, the Executive Committee. It's chosen from uh, the Breeder Societies at our AGM, our Annual General Meeting, and the board consists of breeders. So none of the breed societies are allowed to have more than two board members, more, more than one board member on the board of, of uh, SA stud book. Uh, and this means that all breeders taking part in the services and, and making use of the services of Stadtbook basically have direct access to the procedures and uh, practices 
of SA Stadtbook. As I've said, uh, Stadtbook is basically a registering authority um, uh, delivering these services. Other important aspects re regarding SA Stadtbook, in the first place we recognize the ownership of the data to be the source, that means the breeder himself or herself, but also maybe in a broader sense where the breeder society has a responsibility in terms of ownership uh, that you can have co-ownership of data as well. So that's very important uh, that we recognize the ownership of data uh, from the source. Uh, furthermore, um, uh, our logic system, we call our system Logix, uh, the database and also the web interface. Uh, it's modern and it's scientifically based and it's obviously a world-class world system uh, where the pedigrees and uh, other information, recorded information of animals are uh, um, integrated and that obviously enables us to predict breeding values or genetic merit for animals based on, on the information. Uh, it's also important that uh, to note that Stadtbook um, puts high value to, being in, to be recognized internationally, so we are not just a member of the International Committee for Animal Recording, we also serve of some of their subcommittees and so forth, but uh, it's also important that we are certified, so the certificate of quality, um, we received uh, the certificate in 2013 for all our actions and, and products that we deliver, uh, this is renewable in April of this year, 2019, and then um, obviously if we are successful and we, we're sure we will be successful, we will have certification for the next uh, five years uh, as well. So uh, this, this then brings us to the mission of, of Stadtbook and, and what we stand for. Uh, obviously we see ourselves as the uh, self as the most significant role play in genetic improvement of animals in South Africa uh, and uh, in that sense we uh, our vision is to develop exceptional domestic animals and establish uh, them as a sustainable resource and treasure for all South Africans but also wider than that because we also render services to some other countries in Africa but also countries uh, around the globe. So we realize this through the registration and recording of animals and ownership. I think that's very important from a legal perspective. Um, the continuous update of these animals' information, including pedigree information, uh, and to record all other uh, production and other traits of importance uh, for the, the breeder and the breeder society or the interested parties, and to integrate that so that uh, we can also use, utilize that on a, on a much wider scale, not just for genetic merit prediction, but also for benchmarking and for the purposes of, um, of, of making uh, decisions in herds and uh, in breeds. And um, this then uh, basically, uh, through this assistance, we uh, hopefully increase the efficiency of production for these animals or to have a meaningful contribution for those uh, uh, breeds and, and species uh, that's not utilized for production of, of livestock products uh, such as companion animals. So this is just to show you the, our international recognition through, through the International Committee for Animal Recording uh, and here you can see a, a stud book uh, basically uh, being, being uh, noted um, in the um, in in on the website of of the of the International Committee for Animal Recording, and you can also see the um, all the all the different uh, aspects or fields of activity uh, recognised by ICAR uh, on on the on the right hand side. And like I said, uh, we are up for renewal in April uh, of this year, 2019. So uh, just quickly, uh, Stadtbook was founded uh, after a group of breeders in 1905 came together and the first Stadtbook were, by Stadtbook was published in 1906. So we see ourselves as being in existence from 1906. Uh, I have mentioned that uh, we are a registering authority under the Animal Improvement Act uh, and we act as such uh, inside the law. Uh, and we have 63 of the 73 breeder societies in South Africa 
our members of SA Studbook. And here this table um, basically shows all the all the different species and uh, type breed types that are um, registered um, our members of SA Studbook. And there are also 25 breeds without breed societies. Uh, who are directly recording with SA Studbook. We also run um, uh, services for, for one breeder society who is an own registering authority, uh, who is also not a member of Studbook, but they make full use of the South African Breed Society, make full use of Studbook services and some international herd books like the Bonsmara breeders of uh, Namibia, Brazil, Argentina, Australia and, and elsewhere in the world and uh, some other breed societies elsewhere or um, not in South Africa. So just quickly in terms of capacity, we, we have just about 7,000 uh, active uh, breeders um, making use of the services of Statbook and uh, at any given time we have more than 900,000 uh, animals, live animals on our system. Obviously millions if you if you include the pedigree of, of um, older animals. Just to give you some idea, the biggest breed recording with that book is the Bonsmara uh, beef cattle. Uh, they have about 170,000 active animals uh, at a given time and uh, in our genetic uh, merit prediction we, we deal with uh, just over 2.3 million animals in the uh, pedigree file. Uh, for the Bonsmara. So uh, you can see that in terms of capacity, um, the system is there and uh, can handle fairly large uh, numbers of animals and um, complex calculations as uh, well. Just uh, quickly in terms of capacity, Studbook, uh, uh, Studbook um, uh, obviously, like I said, I'm the general manager with an executive secretary and we um, also use, make use of a marketing company for our promotion and we have uh, Studbook has uh, four divisions uh, recording and data services uh, if, we, if we talk about our core business the recording and data services and genetic and advisory services and then with the supplementary services of computer services and support services which deals with finances and personnel. Um, we also own a company called Stemma Anamalia and Stemma Anamalia renders services to uh, some of the breeder societies who do not want to run their own offices. So Stemma will then render services to uh, these breeder societies and Stemma also owns the infrastructure at SA uh, Stuck. So this is the Secretariat of Stemma Anamalia. Uh, it's run by a manager, it's got a finance division, uh, it also buys in services from Studbook and uh, they employ 14 secretaries uh, with uh, and 28 breeds are making use of the secretarial services at Stemma Anamalia. Just quickly, the two uh, core or core divisions or activities of Studbook. The first one is recording and data services. Obviously, uh, this is part of our main business uh, and this is recording of all, just about everything you can think of in, in, in different species of and production system of, of animals, but also very important ownership, transfers, deaths and so forth, because they, that has a legal implication. Um, and we also allow for uh, functional traits and appearance to be recorded and inspections. So we also um, make provision for visual assessment of animals on the system. And then obviously um, molecular genetic uh, test, the results of test, uh, carriers uh, of, of, of specific alleles of genes, but also uh, now profiles, uh, genomic profiles to be used in uh, genomic selection. Uh, and, and all that and all queries related to data and animals and uh, dealing with the breeder societies uh, will basically be handled by these uh, or this division of SA Studbook. Then the other uh, core business obviously is genetic and advisory services. So this is, uh, it started off with the recording of production traits, it's now been integrated with the, with the data services but at uh, ground level, on farm level, we, we have te technical advisors advising farmers as how to record, how to interpret data, how to use the data in terms of selection and also management practices 
as well as the genetic uh, merit predictions. So there's a unit uh, dedicated to genetic merit predictions and reporting back to individual breeders, but also on a wider scale to breeder societies. Uh, also, uh, service that's very popular with some breeds uh, would be the pop, pop reps, the population reports and breeding structures analysis of breeds to assist breeds in terms of the way to go forward uh, with influential animals and also the selection of, of those animals as herd sires or dams uh, and also to, to retain uh, genetic diversity or to, to lower inbreeding uh, in these breeds. Uh, so that, that's also a very important service. And then the genomic services that started off uh, two, three years ago, genomic services for dairy cattle um, and beef cattle, um, Statbook is rendering that service. And then I have mentioned the technical field services who also make what that also makes out, um, a, 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 an important part of uh, Statbook services. Uh, this includes recording services such as real-time ultrasound scanning services, uh, on-farm uh, or growth test uh, recordings um, and uh, feed intake recordings, for example, but also um, the actual measurements on, on animals and then all very important specialist advice uh, that's given to individuals, uh, but also groups and technology transfer as well. So just quickly, some recording systems. Uh, we like to name our recording systems uh, different names. So obviously, Logix Beef is the is the system uh, employed for beef cattle. Uh, Logix Milk is for dairy, all dairy animals, uh, uh, bovine as well as, as goats. Um, uh, South Africa has a very small uh, milk goat population, but uh, it, it also goes under Logix Milk. Then uh, um, a very vibrant and, and active uh, recording system is Logic Small Stock. That's basically for mutton sheep, wool sheep, and uh, um, meat producing goats. So uh, that is part of uh, Logic Small Stock. Uh, Studbook also renders a service to the game industry. So recording in game, mainly pedigree information, but also and properties associated with other economic uh, aspects such as horn growth or horn length, uh, color uh, variants and so forth. So that, that service is up and alive and running in, in Statbook uh, and there's, there's basically services rendered to the game industry. And then a very important part uh, of Statbook's recording is uh, recording of companion animals, especially horses. Um, a lot of horse uh, breeds are being recorded by Statbook and Statbook has also developed a uh, software for, for this industry in terms of shows uh, and also to record the uh, show results on Logix uh, and we call this system Horse Champ uh, that's uh, available to the, to the horse industry but with a lot of interest in the, in the, um, in the, in the dog recording industry as well. So just quickly, Logix. I have mentioned Logix. Logix is an inter internet-based portal with data at the background. So uh, the access is through, in through the internet. Um, uh, it's obviously because it's an internet-based uh, portal. It's obviously you have 24-hour free access. It's a live system. Uh, so if you record anything on Logix, uh, a birth or a transfer or a death or, or any other recording for that matter, performance recording, it's updated immediately. So it's in time and uh, it's also possible if you have farm software. So we have a deal with the farm software companies uh, for data exchange. So that happens automatically um, without uh, touching the data, um, basically uploading the data, uh, putting it through filters, biological filters and ownership filters. Um, and then also the results back to, to the farm software. Uh, Logix has uh, multiple reports, uh, just about everything you can think of, uh, from uh, simple reports uh, in terms of some things like herd inventories, to modified reports, to benchmarking, uh, through specialized um, advice services to dairy farmers, where an animal scientist will actually physically give you advice as to in terms of feeding or nutrition of your animals, healthcare um, and other aspects uh, and where you get benchmarks against uh, other herds and, and also in the breed or, or 
on, on a biological scale um, uh, to, um, to genetic reports, specialized genetic reports with advice um, based on your breeding objectives and also the impact of specific animals in your herd and your, your trends or your relative standing uh, within your breed. So um, it's a, you can also use, uh, like we said, uh, like I've said, the logics online and it's an easy way of recording all sorts of, of, of um, aspects of your animals. Uh, it also renders um, access to a herd, herd book or a society and that makes management much easier so, so a society can access um, all its members through logics um, in terms of address lists, animal numbers, in, even invoicing. Uh, so the, 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 um, the breeder societies make use of the logic system for the invoice uh, of their members as well. Uh, just quickly a, a few things on production recording. Uh, obviously production recordings objective is to supply objective production uh, reports on uh, all sorts of different things such as breeding values um, and management reports uh, and also to to uh, in, enhance or increase the biological and economical efficiency of, of your animals. So um, this has led to a very important development at Statbook, um, uh, an interactive selection and mating decision-making tools. And there's one available for dairy bulls. We call it sadairybulls.com. So that's also the website, uh, www.sadairybulls.com and one for beef bulls sabeefbulls.com. So it enables the user to set his or her own breeding objectives and selection criteria, then to select females in, in the herd, your, your dairy herd or your beef herd, and then uh, do a bull selection. If you, if you have dairy cattle, you can do that bull selection globally, uh, USA, Canada, uh, Australia, wherever. Uh, the case is um, obviously those, those values are converted on the interval scale so that it's, it's usable in your um, female herd and you know what the impact will be if you select um, those bulls. Um, so you can select in herd or national or international in terms of bull selection. Um, you can set your own levels for inbreedings uh, to retain um, the levels of genetic diversity that you need. Uh, you, in, especially for beef cattle, you can also get the optimal uh, bulls to put together in a multiple sire situation where you have, let's say, five bulls going with, with 100 cows or mating with 100 cows or whatever the case might be. Uh, so the, the system will optimize which bulls to put to those cows that you have selected in the groups, uh, but obviously also single matings, single sire matings. Uh, you, you have a choice whether you want to mate best with best or or have um, or want to do corrective matings uh, and it will assist you in the outcomes there and then obviously you will have um, optimal outcomes where a first, second and third choice uh, for example where you have single sires will be indicated um, if you wish and also to retain the genetic diversity as I've said um, in your herd. So just as a conclusion um, I think uh, one should uh, recognize the fact that uh, you have to measure to know what's going on in your herd and you can only measure, uh, only manage what you measure. You cannot manage uh, your animals well if you, if you don't measure well and you don't have ob objectives and you don't have benchmarks uh, to put it against. Um, and record, remember to, to record with a trusted source. Uh, you can obviously record wherever you like, but then you, you need to know whether you can trust the outcomes of, of, of the results. Um, and you can only use information, really uh, utilize information if it's based on sound scientific principles. So um, uh, I think in, in the modern day times that we live, we, you, you cannot afford anymore to, to simply um, to carry on without uh, using um, a source that is, is trusted and is built on scientific principles. And then also, and that's also true in terms of advice. You, you certainly won't take your child to a, a, somebody that's not qualified to look after children uh, in terms of if, if your child is uh, ill. Um, it needs to be a, 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 from a trusted uh, source if you take advice as well. And remember also that breeding decisions 
has uh, have a, a long term consequence. The problem is if, 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 you, if you make a wrong choice today in terms of a bull, his daughters or the effect of his daughters will uh, be for many, many years to come. So you need to, um, to, to base your breeding decisions on uh, knowing that it has a long term consequence. Mm -hmm. So in that vein, uh, we can uh, surely say that Statbook is the only registering authority in South Africa with, I, with the ICAR Certificate of Quality for all aspects of recording of uh, breeding animals. That's the recording part, the data calculations, the field services uh, um, attached to that, as well as the genetic evaluations. So uh, that's a very important aspect um, in terms of registering authority. No other registering authority in South Africa has this uh, uh, qualification or has a certification. The uh, all advisory services from Statbook are by registered animal scientists. Those are people who are registered in terms of the Natural Sciences Professionals Professions Act of 2003. So you, you are obviously, um, uh, you, you can use the advice of anybody uh, for that matter, but um, coming back to the registration or the scientific re uh, professional registration, I think this is a very important aspect, seeing that you, you, um, you're dealing with your income, your farm income, and also you're dealing with the information that your clients will be using uh, in terms of animals to be bought. Uh, so um, the other very important aspect from Statbook's perspective is that we are independent, we are not government owned, uh, we, um, we can make our own decisions, but we are owned by the industry. So um, everybody that's making use of Statbook and also obviously the breeder societies who are members of Statbook govern uh, what we, our fees, it governs our uh, direction um, and it also governs or it make the decisions they make uh, will, will lead to the future of, of uh, their members. So um, we see ourselves as leaders in the industry. Um, um, just about everything that was developed uh, is in-house developed, but with international linkages and uh, with international collaborators. So although we do in-house research and development uh, according to the local conditions, uh, one must um, uh, know that, that this, uh, we have international ties and we make sure that we adhere to international standards as far as that's concerned. So the, the systems in South Africa in terms of the ecology, but also the, um, the value chain and the way that farmers are being paid for their products are taken into consideration when we developed our uh, genomic values uh, or genetic values uh, based on the e economic values. So uh, the genetic merit values, uh, the combined genetic va uh, values uh, or the selection indices are then based on the local conditions. Um, Statbook is also the first um, provider of genomic services, uh, also breeding values. Uh, three beef breeds are already making use of genomic uh, GEBVs uh, and there's also a service that we render in collaboration with the currently with the Canadian Dairy Network. This is to be extended to a local um, uh, genomic services uh, for, for the three major dairy breeds uh, very soon. Uh, this then brings me to the end of uh, this talk and the slideshow. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and uh, if, you, if you want to know a little bit more about Studbook, you're more than welcome to visit our website, uh, studbook.co.za. Uh, there's the Logix website as well. If you're a user of, of the services, sabeefboost.com. If you have a sale and you, you want to know more about the animals on the sale, use the QR code on the Studbook sales catalog. It will take you directly to the sabeefboost page of that specific animal. Uh, or just log on to it or sadairybulls.com if you want to look up the genetic merit of any bull anywhere in the world uh, in terms of its South African genetic merit value you, you will find it on sadairybulls.com you can also email me at yapi at statbook.co.za j-a-p-i-e at statbook.co.za thank you very much